stepping songbird and today i'm going to do a two page 12 by 12 layout using this beautiful purple cardstock and i've already placed an 11 and a half by 11 and a half sheet of beautiful pattern paper from joanne's park lane basic stack today's theme is disney's jasmine this is a continuation of my niece's disney princess album these borders come from cricut design space and i've used these borders in some of her other pages as well this beautiful scallop frame is also from Cricut Design Space and I've cut that with a beautiful gold and aqua color. I'm going to use three in one glue to start with and then I end up switching to another glue um, after I use this one because I had a little bit of a hard time with it. It's kind of like um, a glue gun and it gets very sticky and then it gets all over the place. So I decided to switch. So I'm just gonna place the borders one on top one on the bottom and I've done this style for some of the other princesses as well not all of them I picked this beautiful purple because I thought it was complementary to the aqua in her outfit and the gold as well in her jewelry the colored cardstock that I have are all from a basic uh, colored stock from uh, colored stack from Joann's as well I just switched to Tombow Mono Multi Glue. This one's a lot easier to manipulate and it has a smaller nozzle, so it made sense to use this one for this intricate border. Next, I'm going to add my beautiful Jasmine. I love the way that this paper piece came out. All of the pieces were easy to put together. She has this beautiful um, hairstyle, beautiful jewelry. I think it goes really, really well with the purple and the gold. So she's going to go on the left because she's facing inward to the right. And I'll just attach her with some mono multi glue as well. My images were purchased from a seller on Etsy. I forgot to mention that earlier as well. And I had no issues with these files. <laughs> Sometimes I have issues with files that I get from Etsy, but I guess you get what you pay for. All right, she looks great on the left side. So now I'm going to move on to my title. This is a whole new world, which I'm going to place half on this page and then the other half on the other page. I didn't have any titles in the other layouts that I did, but I really wanted to fill in some of this space. So I'm going to attach a hole onto the left page and then new world onto the right page. And for that, I'm going to use the mono multi glue as well. This title actually came with a silhouette of the castle and of Aladdin and the genie, but I just cut those out with my slicing tool on Cricut Design Space. I only wanted the words. Okay, so that side is done. I'm going to move on to the right, and I've already placed my borders on the right side. I'm going to begin by adding the words New World, placing them there so I can get an idea of where they would go. And that looks just about right. And then I'm going to place my frame. So I'm actually going to glue my uh, frame first. So I get it aligned with the one that's on the left. And then I can play around with the world words on top. I'm going to use my ruler just to make sure that they are at the same height. Okay, just taking off some of that glue that seeped and then moving on to attaching the words. Now, Mulan is my favorite, but Jasmine comes in in second place for me. I love those two princesses and I really, really love the way that this layout came out. Very simple, just like the Mulan um, layout was as well. But I really love the way that the two princesses came out. And in this large size, you can really appreciate all the paper piecing. Okay, so now I have my title, A Whole New World, which if you know the movie, you know that that is from um, a song that she and Aladdin sing to each other. So here is my second image. It is Jasmine facing to the left, which is why she's going on the right. 
Now, the first jasmine on the left side, at the last second, I decided to put her body behind the border. But this jasmine on the right, I'm going to leave her bottom and her top on top of the border because this silhouette shows her hair uh, kind of like in a flowy style and it looks better if it goes over the border kind of like if it was overflowing because it's so long and then her hands I want to make sure that it is resting on the border so it doesn't look like she's just holding it up in the air making sure that she's nice and flat and now we're going to move on to adding a little bit extra so I'm going to take this Nuvo Crystal Drops in Violet Galaxy and Liquid Enamel Dots in Sunflower by Wendy Vecchi to fill in the little circle um, cutouts that are in the border. So I'm going to alternate the colors. I'm gonna go with the sunflower or the yellow and then skip and put purple there and put yellow, purple, yellow, purple. That's going to be the pattern. So I'm just... Um, squeezing out a little bit that Wendy Vecchi um, Chris enamel dots is an older bottle so it doesn't exactly come out um, the way you want it but the Nouveau crystal drops that's a fairly new bottle so that one squeezes out pretty easily so I don't have any trouble with that one okay my yellow is done and I'm moving on to the purple it's violet galaxy and it's got sort of a pearl uh, sheen to it and that one squeezes out very, very easily, so I'm able to move a little bit faster. And this is actually good because I still don't have a lot of strength in the right side, and squeezing the sunflower enamel dots little bottle, that one was hard. But I got it done, so that's it. This is my two-page layout of Disney's Jasmine. She looks absolutely beautiful here on the left, facing to the right and here on the left with her beautiful long hair just flowing and she's just showing off her outfit. I've got my two photo frames, my photo mats that you can fit a four by six photo easily trimmed. So here you can see the beautiful enamel dots that I created with the enamel crystal drops, the Nouveau crystal drops, and it just completes the layout. I think this came out beautiful. We have our title, A Whole New World, and yes, this is a whole new world. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed and I hope that this inspired you to create a Disney layout. Until next time, happy crafting. And hey, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Thank you.